I've always been very partial to birch. It's curly, lovely, papery skin. And the way it looks in the forest. I've always wanted to live in a birch forest. I even decided to paint one and have it in my apartment. And it's beside my bed, which is also made out of birch wood and stumps. And maybe I got a little bit carried away, but it's on the ceilings and seems to cover up the ugly parts of my house with its beautiful white bark. But what I actually wanted to show you is my birch tapping kit, which unfortunately I only take out once a year, which is around late February, March, in order to tap the birch trees, because that's when the water is flowing. So this is my birch kit, my birch tapping kit, or it could also be used for other trees like maple, of course, or walnut trees, to name a few. So we have this old um, screw driver drill that uh, is pretty amazing. It doesn't need any batteries except for your arms. And we have a drill bit that we put in there as well. And it's exactly going to fit in there and will be just, just less than half a centimeter wide. You can even go a bit smaller. This is the one I have. Um, it's a drill bit for wood. And we have also the appropriate hose that fits exactly into that small, less than one centimeter. Um, it could be like half a centimeter or a quarter centimeter hose. This is birch tar made from the bark. And as you can see, I cannot open it because it's cooler and it has closed up itself. You need to heat it up in order to melt it down and fix ships or use it to plug the hole of the tree. And of course, to cut my tubing and for all those other special things and foraging, I have my birch knife. So this is what a hole looks like inside the tree. We just bored in there plug in the tubing and have the bottle and it just drips away. So that's my birch tapping kit and my love of birches.